Hi guys, it's January the 6th. Yeah, I've no idea what the time is. I know it's gone midnight. Uh, let's just have a quick look, shall we? It is... 15 minutes to 1am. Anyway. I've just been... Tinkering around in the flat, basically. I haven't done a great deal. Um, I pulled this table up. Because... I want to make the adjustment to that so it's done and dusted. So if I go over to Mum's at the weekend, I'll take this with me. I've already marked it up. There's that line across there because I want this bit cut off. And I've got that square, <coughs> excuse me, that square to cut out for my <coughs> manhole, to which I'll probably crawl under here and then just pop up. I think that's going to be my easiest way. Yeah, I've had to put Nemo's bed there because, uh, well, as you saw, he, he created a lot of noise when I took out this table because he couldn't easily get up onto the Lego City. And I'm not kidding, as soon as I put that there and he could jump onto that and onto that, he was happy. He shut up. <laughs> and he, I'm not kidding you, he has just jumped that gap. Which he started to do recently as well. I have no idea why. Because he never used to jump like that. <coughs> Anywho. Um, yeah, because uh, one of my goals for this year will be to uh, get the wood surface covered up. So it's not, or most of it is not visible. I'm not really fussed about this bit. If I really wanted to, I could paint that green. <coughs> Just so it blended in. I probably will do that actually, just paint it green. Um, but I want to get areas like this covered up with plates like that. You know, and over there. And uh, get the buildings, well these two large projects, that one and that one finished as well. Um, well that's the goal for the Lego Town anyway. You're probably thinking, yeah that's plenty of time. <laughs> Not with me, because I... <coughs> I usually get caught up in buying other things. Um, like road lamps and ponies and things. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my goal. It would be nice if I could get this completed by summer, to be honest. Or at least completed to the stage that I want it completed to. It'll never be 100% complete, because... Uh, well, you can forever change things around on here, you know. If I got bored with that fire station and what's a different fire station, I can just take that up, demolish it and uh, build another fire station. Or I could move the fire station somewhere else, you know. It's just, it's everlasting, a model like this. <clears throat> oh yeah, I built a radio with my electronics kit as well. It's an AM radio. Uh, sort of based on the crystal radio, but they added an amplifier. Ba <coughs> Bloody hell. They added this little amplifier, basically. It's an integrated circuit, and they call it an op amplifier, or an op amp for short. And they added that, and obviously the um, accompanying capacitors and resistors for that as well. And it does work. That's the ground. I've got the antenna laying on the floor. I did pick up a couple of stations, so I was pretty chuffed with that. I actually had to go through it twice because it didn't work the first time. I actually found out I put the wrong resistors in. So I had to change them. Yeah, bite me. I can't read resistor codes, so I have to Google them. I have to Google them because I don't actually have a meter that can um, measure their resistance. So... <laughs> I've just got to type in like one mega ohm or whatever and into Google Images and uh, it comes up with the images that I need. Right. <coughs> uh, I will pop down to Mum's shop tomorrow and say hi. Uh, Whenever I get my ass out of bed, because I am wide awake. I'll probably be wide awake until about 3 o'clock in the morning. <clears throat> but uh, anyway, 
while I'm in the bedroom, I do have my Transpower record player out. My uh, 1970s model. I, I don't know what year. I haven't found out what year, but uh, it's my favourite machine that I own. And I'm not allowed to get rid of it because mum and my stepdad gave me this. Um, it does need repair because I'm still having issues with... Um, got two speaker outlets and it's the one on this side that's um, playing up. Very sort of crackly and distorted but I got it out again from under the... under there because uh, I just wanted to double check that it wasn't crappy speakers I was using so I put this Panasonic on it and uh, now it still does the same thing but the other one works absolutely fine, the radio works fine, the actual player itself works fine and a spare needles for it. Um, it does have a couple of blown bulbs on the front panel there but uh, when I was last looking at this I did get this one to work and I got one in the middle working. Well that was deliberate, I only had one working bulb so I stuck it in the middle. <coughs> you know, it's not that important, it just looks nice if you know what I mean. It's a nice aesthetic look. I mean I can see perfectly to tune the radios in which actually work remarkably well considering I don't have an antenna plugged into the back of this. It's just going with the uh, onboard antenna but it works remarkably well. <coughs> so yeah, I've got to give it clean because it got some paint on it when the kitchen was painted. See? Um, it's emulsion though so that should just wash off easy enough. It was nowhere near the gloss, so no, it's not gloss. <coughs> Pardon me. Now, job I'm going to do tomorrow is put that up there. <coughs> uh, <coughs> it was going to be these two that were above my Lego workbench in the lounge. I'll show you what I've done in there. I've actually upgraded them. That's why they're here. But I actually felt for this corner, because it's where all my old computer gear and whatnot is and the old stereo and the old radios and the old fashioned blue lights and whatnot I felt they were too new <coughs> so I finally remembered I had this which is basically an old school under cabinet light for kitchens hence all the, hence all the filth on it you know but uh, I think with the spray I've got and a a good sponge that should um, come up cleaner. As long as I can get it cleaner, I'm not a perfectionist, so. But yeah, the, you can interlink these um, these together when you've bought them, but that's how big and bulky they were back in the day. <coughs> um, so I figured that would be more suited to go up there, and it will more than adequately light up this end of the bedroom as well. It's got the built-in switch, because there's the screw holes. A normal fluorescent light would have the holes in the back there, but that's the mounting holes. I'm going to have to use a washer for the screwing in. But I am literally just going to get this. And basically screw it straight to the front, in the middle of this shelf like that. I think that would be more than adequate. If I get that tube to hang just below the um, shelf like that. That's a brand spanking new tube on that as well. <coughs> um, and that's going to last donkey's years because I'm... <coughs> Bloody cough. Go away. The rest of my cold is going away. I just want the cough to go away. Yeah, anyway. Um... Yeah, these, when Mum was um, in Buxton, these were in the kitchen, in under the original shitty kitchen cabinets, and I actually rescued those. There was two, there was a longer one I rescued that was actually in use in the old workshop, but uh, when they moved, that light got stored, and I believe we actually dumped that one. I don't think it's still in the shed, and I haven't got it here, it might still be in the shed. Um, that's a wee bit too long to actually put on there. It's a three foot one. This is a two foot. That'll do to uh, go up there. 
here's the cable because <laughs> I did have that under the shelves in the lounge to light up the Lego town but that's why I've got this short cable because that's all I need so I've got to make another one up that's right I can undo that I've got plenty of um, three core cable in the cupboard so I'll just make a custom length I'll just my plan would be to try and get the cable into the corner and go down the back because there's plenty of sockets down there to choose from <clears throat> so that's what I'm gonna do <coughs> this bloody cough is doing my head in so that's what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow but I'll probably do that after I've gone down to the shop and uh, seen mother um, Don't even know which way is on and which way is off now. Right, I don't know what I'm going to do till I get tired because there's not a lot I can do up here. There really isn't. You know, I can't put the light up because it requires making too much noise, and I can't do that this time of night. So uh, I'm kind of stuck. But anyway, here we go. It's the LED versions I got from Lidl. Hey look, I'm just a forehead. <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, pretty bright. That's me bench with the light on. It's the bench with the light off. There's a big difference, isn't there? Nine ninety nine each. They're not cheap. <clears throat> well, compared to a lot of LED fittings I've seen, they are cheap, but still <coughs> worth the upgrade. That eight watt tubes. Oh, eight watt tubes. 8 watt LED lights, 8 watt, watts each. Um, the fluorescent ones I've got were 13 watt each. So, I wondered where he'd gone. He's laying on my coat. If I laid that in the middle of the bloody bypass, he would uh, lay on it as well. I won't bother him anyway. Ugh. Let me shut the laptop now. I'm going to use this laptop for either Skype or um, when I go to Mum's. In fact, when I was over New Year's Day, I didn't take it with me. I actually couldn't be bothered to pack it away. <laughs> I was just, sometimes it's just nice, you know, to get away from the internet. Or I think it is as well, so I had a, pretty much a day away from the internet. And it was New Year's Day, there wasn't anyone... <coughs> wasn't anyone online to chat to anyway because you know they're all a friends family or probably hung over from New Year's Eve parties <laughs> so who the Sorry, I'm just reading the message. I sent one of them annoying chain mail things on Facebook. I don't mind the ones at Christmas, you know, and special occasions that wish you a, a happy birthday or something. Or happy New Year's we had and happy Christmas. I even... You know, I even forwarded those on myself. Not to be a killjoy, but this one warning you not to take a certain pill. It's literally that. It's just bollocks. It's fake chain mail, and I will not forward things on like that. Simply because some of them you will do that to, and, uh... <coughs> and, uh, you'll end... <coughs> end up approving an app to post on your behalf and before you know it your account has been hacked I've had applications do that before post things uh, somehow got my permission to post on my behalf and uh, started posting things on my group and I've had to figure out what application it is and get rid of it 
And a lot of people are saying the same thing with my record player in there. A bad transistor. <coughs> <coughs> well, I'm not fussed. If the caps were still good that I replaced, I'm not fussed. <coughs> Fucking hell. Really pissing me off. <sighs> I don't even feel like playing any games. I don't know, I might find something to watch. I've got a DVD here I could watch, I suppose, if I get too bored. Anyway, I'm going to turn the camera back on tomorrow when uh, I stick that light up, so talk to you then. Okie dokie, it is 12.39 on a Saturday, Saturday, January the 6th, and before we go into the bedroom, I just want to make part of the power lead up for that light, so I thought we'd do that first, if I can find the end of the bloody cable. I think I've got too much here, but I can always trim a little bit off if I need to. So, that's the plug, there's the connections, they are labelled Neutral, Earth, Live. Most things like this are labelled so you can't go wrong, as long as you know that and you know what colours <coughs> represent what in the cable, you can't go wrong. So, I need to strip some back. I've got a funny feeling this is quite a tough insulation. I might just have to uh, see if I can squeeze behind you and just grab my pliers. Because uh, I can't grip it with my bare hands. And I don't want to use the wire cutters because I find they always cut through it. Hence why they could work as. <laughs> so what I like to do is get hold of it with a pair of pliers and just give it a tug. Oh hell. That is some tough insulation. That's not a bad thing. To be honest, that's not a bad thing, right? Actually, I don't need a great deal. I think I can get away with that. So I just trim that. These are not the sharpest set of wire cutters, but they're sharp enough for this job. Right. Yeah, I'm not going to get that any shorter, am I? Now, what has the earth got? I cut all them level. Now, look at that. No idea why it's done that, but the earth one's got to be cut, well they've all got to be cut down. Um, see the cord grip is actually uh, built in, so when you screw this on, screw these two parts together, it grips the cable. So what I need to do, is start with the neutral I think. Trim that bit off. Bare bit of wire. And for those that do not know, blue is neutral over here, brown is live, and green and yellow is your earth. Nope, I can actually trim that down a bit more. I completely misjudged that one. Let's try that. Because what I don't want is colour wash showing out of the bottom of this connector. You shouldn't use these as screwdrivers either, but to be honest, they're more safer to use as a screwdriver than a tester, so. That's 
what it's getting used as. Right. Do earth next. How deep is that? Mm. Think. If I kind of sort of trim that off. Maybe a smidge more. And these are the sort of cutters I use on bicycles, on the brake cables and things. And they're just not sharp enough for that. Good enough for this. Sort of been hit and miss with these because I've got these from Lidl. I've got like three or four pairs of these. Some of them have been sharp enough for the... Um, a bicycle to cut through a steel bicycle brake cable and whatnot, and others just haven't. So I'm, I just guess it depends on the machines when they're sharpened. But they're certainly the better ones that I have actually bought. I've had them from well, I've had cheap ones from other places in town, other, you know, tool shops and whatnot. Yeah, they're, they're, they're not worth it. They won't even cut wire, let alone anything else. I ain't kidding. <laughs> Yet these are actually the same price as a lot of the ones in the other shops, and they actually do cut wire at least. They do cut what they were designed and meant to cut. get in there because I haven't got a lot of finger room. There we go, we're in. There, basically what I've got to double check. Yep, we've got a big end there. Yep, that's right. I'm just got to put the cover on. It might be a little bit of a pig because this is quite a thick cable. I think our screws, if I remember rightly, go in from the top here. Lick us up. That's as quick as that. That's one good thing. Because when you pull on this, you don't want it to, you know, pull the bloody cable out, do you? Why is that slightly raised on this side, but not an issue. Right. Need this, need this. We'll need those. Don't need that because I'm going to put a 5 amp in it. Not a 10 amp, I think a 10 amp is a bit too big. And we'll move to the bedroom. Here we are in the bedroom. Right. Here we go. It's all been cleaned up. Look at that. Isn't that a lot better than what it was? Right, so literally all I've got to do is use these screws to screw this to there, like that, simple. <laughs> right. yeah. Just make sure the screw head's not going to go through the actual light that is. Good 
it's up. <laughs> as simple as that. I was going to cover the um, coloured lights, but meh. Yeah. Right, I'm going to put the tube back in now. Just goes in like that. Give it a twist till it locks. Bob's your uncle. Right. Plug the cable into the end. Zoom you in for a minute. I'm go um, over that green cable. I hope. Right. Just get it hooked over for now before I put it in place and get it so it's all nice and tidy. Lovely, you're looking at the back of my head. Right. So I actually think a cable clip in there. Um, did actually have a pin hammer somewhere earlier. Really. Because I was playing with it and I can't remember where I put it. Lost the oh, here it is. Why don't you look for some pot clips? They weren't where I'd uh, where I thought they were. I thought I'd stuck it back in the um, <clears throat> holder, but no, I haven't. Uh, <coughs> what did I do with the hammer? I'm only going to use a couple of these. Might move the monitor out of the way because I might just go down the wall a little bit to keep it tidy. If I can find the hammer. That'll do. It's not the pin hammer I wanted, but it's a hammer. So. going to move you I think. Try you over there. You may not uh, need to look at the back of my skull. Right. Don't need that anymore. I've got a plug there to put on the end of the cable. Oh, I just found Land right there. Typical. It's me not using my friggin' eyeballs again. Right, let's put the keyboard down here. And hopefully I can just lift and budge the monitor. Well, that's pretty tight it is. Right, I'll unplug that for a minute. There we go. Right. I think I cut way too much of this, but... 
actually I did, I think I've cut about twice as much uh, than I need, but never mind. Let's get this. Swinging a hammer and smashing that, so I'm going to take that out of the way. That wouldn't surprise me. Reaching over here is not easy though. Not easy at all. down the wall so it looks tidy when you look at it. I'm not fussed about what's under here because it can't be seen. Out of sight, out of mind sort of thing, <laughs> as they say. But uh, we can see above here so that's why I've clipped cables at least somewhat in a straight line. A bit too far down. Trying to get the clips spaced somewhat evenly as well to make it look a bit tidier. Alright. Uh, that don't know if I'm gonna get in there with one more. It's a bit tight with this PC here. a bit of an angle. Right, so that's above table done. Just gonna uh I don't know why I kept that one. That's all no, why did I actually bend it back so right let's try and get this sort of show we can plug the power back in. Back up there. Get the bomb back in. I'm sure I've got you know, I have. Oh, 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 oh. Dusty cloth. I might as well have a dust down while I'm over here. installed almost but I'm not going to bore you with the plug because we've done that many times so we'll shut you down for a minute okay all the wiring is done I've even done a bit of extra wiring down there there was uh, the um, power lead for these needed shortening so I shortened that shortened that rather not shorted it short shorting it out would not be good anyway We work. It's actually quite a nice um, light up here, to be honest. 
I can see what I'm doing. I wish I had somewhere better to put these speakers. Making sure that all still powers up. Right, that's that. Done, sorted. Put the Dell keyboard back. I didn't have a white Dell mouse, I don't think I do. I might have in the box, I'll have to have a look. I'm not sure what that is. It was a bit of tape, or if that was actually a protective cover that just came off the the um, keyboard. Anyway, you know where the uh, num lock caps lock neck thing is? There's like a little plastic cover thing. Alright, yeah. It's all earth. That generates a bit of heat actually. <laughs> it's not overly hot, you know. I mean, I can sit there at the minute and hold it. It's comfortably warm. But then again, a lot of things uh, generate the heat, don't they? Before I scoot off, I'm just going to go down and uh, just say hi to Mum. I'm going to see if I can uh, reach... Actually, I've got a better idea. I'm going to put it over here relocating this that's what I want to do but why don't I I'm using the bottom of those radios as a guide <laughs> screw this up there <coughs> the joys of magnetic screwdrivers and MDF because screws go into MDF like hot knife through butter which is good, that makes life easy. There. We're sorted, I think. <coughs> I just need to um, source some more KVM cables. Right, not sure what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the afternoon, but I do need to uh, zip out for a couple of reasons, so I will be back later. Alrighty, it's now... Uh, Way past 2 o'clock in the morning. Is that you probably about 2.15? 2.25. So even I was off. Um, I've got a few bits and bobs off of Mum this afternoon from the shop. Uh, built this as well. You're probably wondering what the heck this is. But this is going, going to be the base for that. Because the problem is, with leaning it like that, it keeps sliding from side to side. So I figured I'll just make a crude stand for it for now. So that's the start of that. That's about all I've done. I had a friend pop over. Um, his girlfriend is away for a week. Um, and he wanted uh, some work or something done on his PC. I think he does what, you know, to hang out with someone, so, you know, I said pop over if you want, if you want to get out of the flax, you'd been in there all day. I weren't really doing nothing apart from, the only other thing I did this afternoon was sort that Technic out. Uh, my Technic Lego, that is. So, uh, I sort a bunch of that out. I'm actually surprised at how much Technic I've actually managed to get into those drawers. Those contained a load of small bike parts, but because I barely went in there anymore for bike bits, I just pretty much emptied them out and just tipped them into one tub. Um, yeah, so that was my afternoon. Anywho... <coughs> Must be getting close to bedtime. The cough is uh, started up again. Uh, I can't go, actually go outside at the moment into that cold air and without going into a cough fit because the cold air is really irritating my tickly cough. <sighs> anyway, 
thanks a bunch for watching and uh, as always I will talk to you again in the next video. Bye.